And you're in the red zone, of course, but you're tackling the, the hardest thing that you're going to do that day and you're going to get it behind you. And how could you possibly have a bad day after that? I try to get into the Ferncliff Nature Reserve at least once every time I'm in Hermanus. It's really this majestic network of trails that was built and designed purely for the purposes of, of people interested in flora and fauna. What is amazing and what appeals to me is the 60 or so kilometers of trails that you can do without doubling back on yourself within the reserve. You look down on them, it looks like these trails have been cut out of the side of the mountain with a scalpel and the fine hands of a surgeon. They, they sort of line the, the front of the, of the ridges and the valleys of these mountains in layers of one or two contour paths. Every now and then there's a steep, swift zigzag to take you up a, a meaningful elevation. I live in Cape Town and I get onto Table Mountain relatively often, a couple of times a week. And those trails are extremely technical, lots of loose rock, big sharp rocks, so they haven't really been ground down. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that every step feels like 50-50 between breaking your ankle or not. In Ferncliff, what you get rather is this pristine network of not too slippery trails, a little bit of technical stuff, especially as you get higher. It's just extremely runnable. You've got hundreds of meters at a time, if not kilometers, of a flat or gently inclined up or down a hard packed single track that are just fantastic for this sort of high speed or, or, or a slow slog up the hill. If you get to any sort of significant vantage point and turn around, you've got this majestic view. The beacon that you should look out for is called Le Moon Corp. It's this peak sort of right at the, right at the front, closest to the, the town of Hermanus. What you get is this sort of amphitheater of this mountain to the left of you and mountain to the right and the towns in front of you, but there's only a couple of hundred meters of town before the jagged uh, southern coastline of, of the Western Cape juts out in front of you. And then beyond that is just the horizon. And, from there, you can head back down to what I call the four-way stop, which is at the foot of a, a set of switchbacks, a big climb called Adder Ladder. The thing that amazes me most about this place is that you just never see any other trail runners here. I mean, so I think that if you stayed here, you could really get set up quite well for a trail running ultra or just get your body in quite good nick because you're going to be out in the outdoors all the time. You're going to be getting this fresh air, a healthy dose of what Andrew Huberman calls forward ambulation. You can really push the heart rate and push the, the speed up a bit. <sighs> Bushes whooshing past you at high speed. And I think it's just quite a healthy space to be in emotionally, psychologically, and, and of course, physically. Thank you.